everyone. I'm Kristen Dikas. I'm the Port Director and CEO here at the Port of Wanini, and I want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season. We're really grateful for all of our customers, our community partners, our government partners, and our stakeholders for everything you do to help Port of Wanini make cargo move, make our port more sustainable, and make our community greater. So let's take a journey outside the port. Okay, this here is called High and Heavy Cargo. It comes in on a roll-on, roll-off ship, what we call a Roro ship. And hey, these Roro ships have been really helping out during the supply chain crisis. Some of these ships are bringing containers. Some of these ships are bringing in small cargo like forklifts so that they don't have to get caught in the congestion that we're seeing in some of the larger ports on the West Coast. So bravo to our Roro customers for bringing high and heavy cargo up 26% this year. So the Port of Wanini has really been doing its part during the supply chain crisis. Behind you here, we have two container ships that are working. And the first quarter of this fiscal year alone, our imports are up 137% and exports are up 219%, all helping the supply chain get goods to market during the holiday season. So behind me is part of this containerized operation. You see a hybrid mobile harbor crane, meaning it can run on diesel or it can get plugged in. The port just awarded a seven and a half million dollar grant so we can build the infrastructure to plug in these cranes. All right, so here we are everyone at the mouth of the channel at Port of Wanini. And if you look over here to my right with me, you'll see that we do not have vessels lined up in anchor. We are congestion free and that's how we plan to stay. So here I am with a piece of equipment that helps with our containerized operations. And while I'm here in a festive mood, I thought I'd share some of the other things that are happening with our port team. And most impressive, through the help of our customer Del Monte, we have, through Community Drives, 57 to date, been able to deliver a million pounds of produce to families in our community and me in lieu of having our banana festival. So we're really excited to be part of the fabric of this community and we welcome conversations as we continue to pursue our strategic planning and hear from our community about what's best for us moving forward. So this is the home of Yara, who services our farm's fertilizer. In fact, every fertilizer ship that comes through here feeds 100,000 acres of U.S. farms fertilizer. And yes, it's non-hazardous. So another great piece of the DNA of the Port of Winnie. So this is where we offload as much as 40% of California squid, food that you might see on your dinner plate in the form of calamari. So here I am on a boom lift working with my colleague, Roman, helps keep these facilities safe and in good order for all of our essential workers that offload and unload cargo here at the Port of Winnie. He's going to take me for a ride so I can really see what's going on. I'm pleased to report that my 60 foot inspection looked solid. Over here, I was able to see our substations that provide the electrical power so we can plug in our reefer ships and keep our cargo cold without diesel engines running. Right here behind me is our dispatch hall for our longshoremen, our essential workforce who have pulled through for us during this pandemic and making sure that all of our cargo gets offloaded and unloaded onto ships and our goods get into the marketplace. Here we are at our front gate. We make cargo move congestion free. Well, look at these two gems. Someone's gonna have a bright Christmas. Where are they going this holiday season? So here we have another great snapshot of the types of high and heavy equipment that comes through the Port of Winnie. Again, with that huge tick up in volume at 26%. So good for our community, so good to create jobs. We love high and heavy here at this port. Automotive cargo is a huge pillar of cargo for us here at the Port of Wanimi. In fact, we move as many as 300,000 to 350,000 cars through this port every year alone. And many of the vehicles we're seeing now are electric vehicles. And having said that, 
we're really excited to share that we submitted our terminal plan so that when our roll-on, roll-off ships come to port, they too will either be able to plug in or put a bonnet over their stacks so they will be zero emission at port as well. This could be as early as 2025. Here we have our latest generation of zero emission technology equipment. These are EV UTRs. Just bought recently with state money for our longshoremen to move cargo in the most green way. So this is a great opportunity to mention the wonderful leadership of our board who at our November 15th board meeting this year adopted a resolution to decarbonization. So we have a $200,000 grant from the California Energy Commission so that we can build our blueprint to zero emission. And our board recognizes the priority this has at our port complex and unanimously voted to move to a future of decarbonization. Despite the challenges that we continue to face with the COVID-19 pandemic, but here we are strong at the Port of Wanini, strong in our Ventura County, and I'm excited to plow forward and tackle 2022 and continue to do bigger and better things together.